Hey guys, what is up? Shaggy John here with a brand new adventure for you guys. To the moon. I've only played like one hour of it. And it was just so amazing. I loved every minute of it. This game really is an experience, guys. It's just so great. And the whole reason I stopped playing was because I wanted to capture this. Because, like I said, this is an experience. It's so great. And, you know, without further ado, we're gonna begin. Just look at this title screen. Listen to that music. Everything about it is so perfect. I love this game. And I'm pretty sure all you guys will too. The, what? Yeah, so here's my first file. So I played an hour and 27 minutes of it, but I, I just had to start over and record this. Because this game is just so perfect, guys. Just look at this. So I want to do this as like the celebratory series of five subscribers. Hopefully this brings us more. Because I know Markiplier played it, and I don't compete with him at all. But either way, I really want to play this game for you guys. It's so perfect. Check it out. so pretty oh no it's a car crash where were you looking Neil well excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere ran over it anyways. <laughs> Ultimate bad luck, Brian. Oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry. It's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. Hmm. We'll just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. <laughs> Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine, whatever furball he fancies. Crisis averted. Good. Go write that report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. So, like, another thing I like about this game, it's just, like, the writing in it. It's really good. Like, there are so many heartfelt moments. There are so many, like, cheerful, like, tension-easing moments. It's just really good. I really like this game a lot. Got the sucker. Let's roll. Way ahead of you. Alright, so we can't go left, because it says that the house is this way on this sign. So, ta-da! Wiles household ahead. Putting up a sign where they live in the middle of nowhere is like asking to be robbed. He's got a point, you know. So let's go over here. Hey, wait, don't forget the car! Just wanted to see if you'd remember. You can't have it locked, un unlocked. How thoughtful of you. Alright, let's keep exploring through this mysterious wood. Through these mysterious woods. It's a boulder! Who put a boulder here? Maybe it's their security system. Cucumbers. We don't have time for this fluff. <laughs> what? <laughs> let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with? Wait. Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. You know what? Dr. Watts, you are trying to get out of your work, and I'm just not going to let you. Uh, I also don't want to find a branch because we could just push it by hand. Check out what happens. Alright, on three. One, two, three! It just bounces away. I... I don't even... What was that? Not a boulder, that's for sure. Uh... We need to get going for now. We, we'll figure that thing out later. Right. Right. I wish I could do a crunk impression. Like from the Emperor's New Groove. Right. 
Nah, I can't do it at all. I'm just butchering that voice. Alright, let's... You know what, let's go up here. We're supposed to go in that house, but I want to show you guys... This. As soon as we make it up... Check it out. It's the lighthouse from the menu screen. It's gonna play a big role later on in the game. Guys, this game is just really amazing. I really like it a lot, and I really hope you guys like this too. Let's enter into the room. Uh, such pretty music. No, don't stop! Ma, they're here! That's not what a little kid sounds like. Alright. And now we wait. Not a bad place to retire at, huh? I could do better. Oh, Dr. Watts. Night shifts. Love them or hate them. You know the answer, you stupid owl. I'm putting you down as a love them. It's probably going to be another all-nighter, you know. I know. And I doubt they'd have any coffee. Shut up. Jeez, Dr. Rosalyn. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blathering, they won't. And your eyelids will. Oh. Don't forget the equipment, moron. Poor Dr. Watts. I don't blame him for trying to get out of work now. I don't get paid enough for this, exactly. You can't really blame him for trying to weasel out of his job. Act 1. I never told anyone, but I've always thought there were lighthouses. What? I, I don't even know what that quote means. I'm not that far. Dr. Watson, Dr. Rosalind, I presume? Thanks for coming on such a short notice. That's okay. I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh, no, I'm just his caretaker. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a 9-to-5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man? Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he just prefers to be called that. Guys, I go by Johnny. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Just saying, come with me. Alright, so let's see what this Johnny, what sort of state he's in. Come on, grab that case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. That's the spirit, Dr. Watts. Alright, let's head upstairs before I drop this. So it won't let us go on the other... In these rooms. Or, last time I checked, it didn't let us go. Yeah, because it's going to say the patient is waiting. So we can't go anywhere else. Unfortunately. Oh, and check this out. Four River by Johnny H. Wiles. What kind of a song is this? It's just two notes repeated over and over. That was the song the children were playing. It's such a pretty song. But who is River? Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. Looks like the winner is Tommy. No fair, you pushed me. Did not. Whatever, you get the boring two notes anyway. I'm gonna put it up. Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who is carrying the weight of a small Metroid. Meteoroid? Why did, why did I read Metroid? 
Yeah, yeah, come on. I guess there's Johnny. Oh, the music stops. I don't want to leave. But oh, you can see Johnny on the other side in the bed. Right here. And this is his doctor. And that's Lily. Well, we'll find out more about them on the next episode, guys. This series is going to be amazing. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!